Hey everybody, it's Bunny, and uh, I recently just did a Twitter poll because I am at maximum procrastination today. Actually, I am and I am not. I just did a Twitter poll like an hour ago, and I asked you guys if y'all wanted a vloopity boopity vliggity vlog today or a video with actual structure. Thank you to all 1,291 people who have voted so far. Oh, 61% of you, ow! Oh, oh, unspeakable torture. I just rolled over my own foot with my own chair. You guys, I'm a hot mess today. A thoroughly toasty mess. Let me describe to you guys uh, today's activity. Oh, you guys, I think I'm gonna lose a toenail. No joke. And that's the foot that I recently, I broke a toe and then I unbroke my toe through weeks of healing and now I think I just broke the big toe. Mm, yeah, definitely turning, definitely turning a little black. That's great. What was I saying? I dropped my papaya. I actually, you guys filmed a banana peppers vlog the other day. I have two banana pepper vlogs ready that I just haven't imported the footage, but I opened some stuff and I don't know, I vlogged there. Can you guys see how scatterbrained I am? Let me describe to you the day, the day of the life of Bunny today. Literally have been uh, worst sleep, I know I say that, I say this every vlog, worst sleep schedule I've ever had in my life. And uh, I literally do think it is from just like doing all the normal stuff and then making sure I film, edit, and upload a video every single day. Uh, because now I literally have, I probably don't get to sleep until between seven and nine in the morning. I, I constantly say seven and nine at night because that's how it, but I don't mean seven and 9 p.m. To me, seven a.m. to nine a.m. is like the night time to me. So I have not been getting to sleep until about those hours every night. Uh, and so I, I kind of don't know what happened between seven at night last night and all of today, but I think it's just eye strain because I've been doing a lot of um, research for future videos, plus like the editing and stuff. My eye was so irritated. It still probably looks a little irritated, uh, but my eye was so irritated um, last night into today and then I woke up today with like a horrible headache and it's like very rare that I wake up with a headache which leads me to believe that it is probably eye strain related. I think I was just like staring because I realize now suddenly my life is 90% staring at a screen whether it is a phone screen or a computer screen and I also think you guys I've taken the Starbucks coffee thing to a new level of extreme that I should not have taken it to because now I also think that's why I woke up with a headache is because normally I have had my coffee by the time that I kind of got started with the day today and so I think my body was just like having caffeine withdrawals. I don't know, got up, ate, took medicine, headache still wasn't cured, finally went and got a cup of coffee with three shots of espresso in it, started to drink that, and then like within the next hour I started to feel better and I'm like, oh my god, you guys, I feel like I have like a serious coffee problem. That is part of the reason why I don't have like the super lamp bright lights. I'm like, oh, I kind of feel like I need to give my eyes at least a little bit of a rest today. Not like I'm doing that because I've still been on the computer all day long. I kind of have like two stories, well two things that I want to talk to you guys about today. The other hot mess of my life is, you guys, we are down to one partially charged battery. I actually filmed a follow me around, mm, was that yesterday or day before yesterday now? Like my whole life is a blur with days and time. But I filmed a follow me around and that just totally zapped my battery and I'm missing one battery. So this battery is like one whole chunk. Like it's it's got a little battery with like three um, like dashes in it, I guess you could say. And I'm down one third of this battery and I don't know where the other battery is. It's like sometimes my life 
things, the, the tools of the trade, I guess you could say, they just seem to evaporate. Like I'm always losing um, chargers, batteries, freaking um, slippity dippities. What are those called? You, you record stuff on them? They're cards. They have a proper name. I lose it all. I seriously, I really feel like I should just get a bag that I carry with me every day in my life that's like a second purse that's just full of filming equipment. That being said though, you guys, I wish I could keep this up forever and I might attempt this beyond Vlogoween. Even though I know some days, like today, I'm not making like fully structured content or even, um, I don't know, something with a loose theme, I just really feel like this has greatly elevated my mood over the past, it's only been like 10 days, but I don't know, it's just something that I really feel like has kept me grounded and it's definitely something I look forward to every single day, even though some days I do feel like it's an extreme push to get it done and I feel that's because normally I kind of structure it where I have like filming days and then off days where I'm doing like research and other things that just keep the channel going um, and I feel like that's why I've procrastinated so much today besides having the terrible headache is I've been doing a lot of browsing and researching for future videos which is one of the topics that I want to tell you about today because that's one of the things like some days I seriously go down a YouTube rabbit hole where I'm just like okay just one more video just one more video and then it's like 50 videos later and I'm still on YouTube just clicking other people's videos I mean obviously I'm clicking other people's videos I don't watch my own videos I feel like that would be kind of weird if I did, I, I don't, or maybe it's weird that I don't. Like, which way is weird? I don't know. The videos that have kept being recommended to me today are the mystery boxes, which I know coming from me, this might sound like the stupidest thing ever that I did not know that this existed, but there are mystery boxes that you can buy on eBay and you literally do not know what you are getting at all and most of them don't even have pictures of the actual box you will be receiving it's just like an assortment of the absolute worst click art i've ever seen and some of these things like literally i looked up like best mystery box and there are ones that people are literally selling ten thousand dollars like you would just pay someone ten thousand dollars and you do not even know what you're gonna get. One of them, you guys, I'm really tempted to get because it's supposed to be a luxury uh, 500, it's $500, luxury $500. I'm sorry I'm looking over here. I'm looking at my computer right now because I'm looking at my watch list to see exactly what it's called, but it's called a mystery luxury box. And it's supposed to be, it's $500, but it's supposed to have Marc Jacobs, Chanel, Yves Saint Laurent, La Mer, and then it says Luck brand. I think that's supposed to be Lucky, uh, which is a little like, eh, to call that a luxury brand. Don't get me wrong, I love Lucky brand. I used to only exclusively wear Lucky brand. And if you've been on Banana Peppers for a while, I think I've hit on that. You guys, Lucky brand used to be my favorite place to shop when I feel like they were really making the more authentically uh, Oh wait, I'll show you guys my favorite Lucky Brand dress ever because I just found it. Give me a second. And excuse me, I feel like such a baby because even these like under desk light, like I have like under cabinet lights in the office. I'll just show you. That makes it easier. See, lights, lights, I've got them up there. Can you guys tell that that's even a light? It just looks like nothing. It's like really like, like I feel like any light source today is just sucking out my soul through my eye holes and I literally almost just stabbed my eye out. Great. Uh, here is my favorite, favorite of all time, Lucky Brand dress. Look at that. It's like a gorgeous maxi dress. I have had this for more than 10 years, easy. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, I love it. Um, I feel like that used to be like an SNL character. I love that. I used to wear Lucky Brand consistently when they came out with stuff like this. But now I feel like they kind of really went 
a different route where it's just like t-shirts uh but like just t-shirts that say like bob dylan and stuff i mean do not get me wrong i am a big bob dylan fan but i just feel like literally you can buy an actual bob dylan t-shirt at target which i know because i'm pretty sure i've done it myself before so i'm like why would i pay like 80 dollars at lucky brand for a bob dylan t-shirt which is the same that i can buy for 10 dollars at target you know what i mean doesn't make any sense no logic available wait i used to say logic none available also can we just keep scoops i love that so much i feel like it's the next b hands where we just say scoops scoops um anyway back to this 500 hundred dollar high-end luxury mystery box with marc jacobs chanel yves saint laurent la mer luck brand dior and more no fakes trash or nonsense like if you read the description of these mystery box it's it's like too legit to quit it says contains an item that originally retailed for $1,100 plus many more high-end items I will ship anywhere I need to scale back. Also, I kind of want to get it and just see, like, is it fakes? Because, um, seriously, I used to buy, like, fake Chanel bags and stuff all the time. So, uh, I feel like I can spot a fake or two. I want to know, for $500, am I going to get shammed? Am I going to get scammed? <gasps> Ooh, uh, it says I could get it before October 17th. I don't know. It's like if I, like a bunch of people though, everybody generally does like more than one thing at a time, box at a time. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, my large Furby talking plush doll backpack is still available. I have always want. Oh no! Somebody bought it. You guys, I have been looking for one of these for years. I don't remember who I saw had one, and then I was like, oh, I want this so bad. It's like a, it's like a Furby backpack purse. I don't know any other way to say it. It's like when the when the 90s came, if, if literally, I feel like I should have a swear jar, you know, where every time you swear, you gotta like put a quarter in or a dollar in or whatever. I need a 90s jar where every time I say or reference something about the 90s, I have to put like a dollar in the jar. I feel like I should do that. That would be so cool. And then at the end of the year, I could give the jar to charity and it would probably be like $10,000 in it because I say it all day and every day because I'm obsessed and I need some help. Let me go back to where I was just looking at mystery boxes though. Now this is this is the most boring, boring video ever. But this is also sideline, side note, my favorite thing to do uh, is just kind of talk and hang out with you guys, which is why I feel like I've been having so much fun on banana peppers, even though I've really been slacking there. Um, I feel like though, you guys, there's so many new listings under mystery box and <laughs> it's hilarious because I see a lot of them uh, are are literally like your subscribers will enjoy this box when you unbox it in a vlog. It's like people have seen that this is like a trending thing right now on YouTube and there's literally like people just like whoosh, like making a beeline to list a bunch of mystery boxes to be like open this on YouTube which is pretty funny and also cool to me. It's like they they know we're coming right now. It's like YouTubers uh, there was one that sounded really cool too that was like, uh, well I think this was the one that was like, your channel, your subscribers will really love this. Uh, because it was like a mystery electronics, like seriously, I, I already looked for a mysteries 91, 90s one, no such thing exists. Okay, because I want a mystery box full of Tamagotchis, Game Boys, I still don't have a Game Boy, I keep meaning to buy one, I think I talked about this months ago where I was on the quest to find and buy a like a clear Game Boy. <sighs> that was like one of the toys that I wanted when I was a kid that I never got mystery household box. And then when you okay, you know, when you search for something and then it gives you like a side suggestion of like other stuff like what you're searching, but not what you're searching for. And it was uh, to buy someone's junk drawer. And I was like, Oh my god, 
I love that so much. But those are like surprisingly expensive and they tell you all that is like what is in it, which I was like, Ugh, that's kind of boring. Like, I don't want to see what I'm getting. I want to buy junk, okay? Uh, I, I literally thought somebody was going to take their household junk drawer, tip it over in a box, put some scotch tape on top, and boop, mail it to me. So many mystery haunted vintage boxes. Okay, I don't need any help with that. Snowman mystery box? What is that? There's a bunch of Halloween ones. I don't know. Anyway, you guys, I watched a bunch of these and literally every YouTuber I watched today, which I watched Jin X Pen, um, Amazing Phil, and, uh, oh, I think it was like BuzzFeed. Of course I watched BuzzFeed. Everyone watches BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed, like, owns our brains now. Um, and literally everyone opened a box of trash. At least one box that they ordered was just garbage. I think Gen X Pen kind of like got the worst ones I've ever seen. It was unimaginable. Uh, but I kind of, I, I don't know, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it and I'm trying to decide. Now I feel like I talked so much about the like designer mystery one that I feel like I should order that one and we can see what it is. $1,500. Some of these are so expensive. Uh, something worth your while. Also, something that will blow your mind away. It better for $1,500. Anyway, you guys, the other story, the, it's, well, it is kind of a story, but the other video that I was like, oh, today that got suggested to me was, and I can't wait until the other collab part comes out. I'm such a fangirl for YouTube, seriously. Like, all my entertainment is either true crime documentaries, uh, K-dramas, or... YouTube videos, <laughs> but I feel like 90% YouTube videos. Um, any, any, any who's. I watched, it was actually like a Juicy Star video, um, which she's like OG of YouTube. Seriously, like when I first became a YouTube, she was like a YouTube also. And I remember just being like, oh my God. Like, I don't, I don't, do you know, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Uh, anyway. I did not know that her and Shane used to be best friends and it was like one of those mind-blowing videos. Oh my god, I'm just gonna read to you guys what she put in the um Juicy J. Okay, Juicy Star. <laughs> um what she put in the I can't form a sentence today. Um toot why shane and i stopped being friends okay that's the video this actually was like days old um and it was like i encourage you to reach out to a friend you haven't talked to uh yeah okay so her top pin comment she pinned herself and it said i hope someone can see this video and it makes you want to reach out to an old friend you haven't in a while and fix your friendship it can be scary but also rewarding girl yes I'm so tempted. I have this one friend, this one friend, and he and I were like high school best of friends. I feel like I've told this story before. It's like, do you know when you have like a friendship in your life and you just know that you are going to be best friends forever and it's like something that is just so weird that you kind of like can't let go of it I don't remember who I was watching I was watching some rando videos the other day and it was they were saying any memory that you have that's older than 18 months old that you have an emotional response to is like something you're not over and I'm like Honey, that's 99% of my life. Like, I can seriously draw up memories from when I was, like, two that I still have an emotional response to. Not necessarily an, a, a negative emotional response, but literally just an emotional response. And then they were saying, like, oh, like, anything that you draw up, like, emotional feelings to is, like, baggage that's making you old. And I'm like, oh, my God, there's not a cream that can reverse this. Like, I'm just walking around with 90% baggage. I'm like, is this why I'm literally, like, I just feel like the poop emoji all the time? What 
what is wrong with me? I feel like I have this like one friend and he and I were like such good friends, like especially in high school. I feel like this was like a, a friend that I literally like became friends with in high school because he was one grade younger than me. Yeah, one grade younger than me. Um, and it's just so crazy because like you just kind of wonder like what that person is doing. Like I seriously have not talked to him in... It has, it's probably coming up on 10 years, which is just like so crazy. And it's just something I'm torn about because I feel like if I literally tried to like go through the grapevine and try and reach out to this person, I could probably try and speak to them, but it is terrifying. And I had another friend that she and I were like really good friends and then we ended up kind of like finding each other at the mall one day. Oh my god, my camera battery is dying. Don't do this to me. Anyway, we saw each other at the mall one day and then we made plans. We hung out and it was so weird because it was like stepping back into a time machine. I feel like we clicked and it's like we just picked right back up where we left off and I felt like we had a really good time. But then we just, neither of us never called each other again. And that's been since I've been on YouTube, but probably at least four years ago. And it's just so weird how stuff like that in life happens. Because when I was watching this Juicy video, I saw her with Shane. It's like, you can tell that there is like a friendship there. Like there's like... Do you know what I mean? It's like, I feel like they could be friends and hang out now. I don't know anything about their history or their life. And I'm literally like not trying to like make anything happen and be like, you have to be, you have to be friends now so I can watch it on YouTube and live vicariously through your friendship. Um, but do you know what I'm saying? It's just always something that I feel like is in the back of my mind. I'm like a ghost with unfinished business, you guys. But it's also kind of like, and I don't, you guys, this person like literally, like sometimes I have this like weird wild fantasy where I'm like, ah, uh, one day I'm going to throw a dinner party. I'm going to invite all my old friends. We're all going to sit at the round table. We're going to, we're going to laugh. We're going to have a good time. It's going to be like a reunion. And I just know it's never going to happen. And it's like, I like to have these thoughts and I don't know if like fantasy is the right word about it. It's like thoughts I have while I'm driving around and I'm alone by myself and it's these fantastic scenarios that I dream up for myself. But at the same time, and I'm not trying to sound rude, uh, but I feel like I'm living and I'm okay. I don't know. It's like you, it's like that weird sensation of like, you don't know if you're missing out on something or not. Um, and I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I also imagine like everyone just is different, like as you grow older, you know? And so I'm just like, would we even have anything to talk about anymore? Would we have anything in common? Would it be awkward? Would it be fun? Would we pick up right where we left off, but then never talk to each other again? There's literally like endless possibilities, you know? And at the same time, I just wanna sit here by myself every day. I don't know. It's like, um, I don't know. I guess, I guess that's like kind of a weird thing to say too. Um, I don't know. I don't know. My camera battery is dying. I love you guys. Leave some comments down below. I love making videos like this. Thank you for hanging out with me today. And I love you guys. I'll see y'all tomorrow for more vlogoween. I love y'all. Bye. Oh my God. Most magical thing just happened. Literally, I was picking up this strawberry banana to take a thumbnail with and I picked it up and voila, there's my missing camera battery stuck to the back of a banana. Miracles do happen.